Hey everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com and today we're going to talk about the best way to store your wrenches. So like many things, storing wrenches is highly dependent on several things. How many wrenches do you have? How much room do you have? Where is this room? what kind of toolbox you have, what you're doing with your wrenches, and so many more. So today we're going to go over some of the ways you can store your wrenches. Some good, some all right, and some that are really, really bad. So let's start with my favorite way to store wrenches. This is how I store wrenches in my roll cart. My roll cart is kind of my mobile tool fortress. It's the most commonly used tools that I own, so I like to have everything that I use right there. It's also not huge, so I have to be very conscious of the storage space that I have. Now, I will warn you that a lot of people will get upset at the way that I store my wrenches in my roll cart. I am not the type of person that needs shiny, sparkly, scratch-free tools. My tools are there and designed to help me make money at my job. If a wrench gets a scratch on it, I'm okay with that. Now, I have these mounted to the back of my roll cart. They're held in on metal hangers. I had to manipulate and bend the hangers a little bit to make sure that they stayed when I closed the roll cart lid. But this is great because it doesn't take up a footprint in one of the drawers or the top of my roll cart. Again, this will scratch your wrenches if you store them this way, but I don't care and it doesn't take up a footprint in the roll cart. Now, in my red toolbox, I have the wrenches stored laying flat. These are the wrenches that I don't use all the time, which is why they're not in my roll cart. This is a plastic holder from the home storage company, and it holds wrenches really nice. There are also holes in this, so you can mount it hanging, but I will tell you, it doesn't really hold them very well, and any bump could knock the wrenches off. But I like how this displays them because you can easily see what size wrench you're about to grab. This works great for standard and long size wrenches. But if you have short wrenches like these, you're gonna need something a little bit narrower. This is a snap-on wrench holder that I probably paid way too much money for, but it does hold these pretty well. You can also stand this up, but again, if it gets moved around too much or if you lay it like this, you're gonna lose some wrenches. But if you have pegboard or something like that, this is actually a much better wrench holder than this one is. This one's also cool because it's got a light magnetic strip on the back, but it's nice because with this peg hook holder in the front, if you have it on a metal piece of pegboard, it won't flop around everywhere. By the way, a small set of these wrenches is great to have. Keeping with the laying flat, you can also use something like this tool sorter. This is nice because it houses them in a tray and you can actually fit more wrenches in this footprint than you would be able to with this one. I pulled this one out of the yellow box at the house, the one you guys see in a lot of videos. This is how I store the uncommonly used wrenches in that box. I also went through the shop to look around to see how other guys stored their wrenches. And a lot of people use plastic ones similar to this, but I found one setup that I thought was really neat. It was both plastic and foam. So it held it in its place in the drawer with the plastic, and then held the wrench to the holder with foam, which is pretty neat. And I actually wasn't able to find a brand or a vendor for that wrench holder. So if you recognize this, post it down in the comments and let us know who makes it. If you're the type of person that doesn't like to have your wrenches scratched up at all, this way might be the absolute best way to do it. It also looks incredibly cool and you can play a little jingle on your wrenches. This is in foam storage from Sonic Tools. This drawer was set up that way. It is a metric drawer, so obviously all these wrenches are going to be metric. This is great because it keeps them organized. At a glance, you can see if something's missing. Everything's numbered, everything's labeled. I absolutely love this setup in this drawer. And had I found this when I first started as a technician, this is how I would be storing things. And if my roll cart had the footprint for it, I might just take this foam out and bring it to work and use it there. Now, I mentioned that I hang my wrenches because I don't wanna have the footprint of the wrenches in a drawer. Another way to achieve that is to get a magnetic bar and hang them this way. This is cool because this magnet is super strong and able to hold a handful of wrenches. You can also, at a glance, 
see what size they are. The only thing I don't like about this is it lends itself to the wrench being crooked. And if you're a little bit OCD about stuff like me, having that would be kind of annoying. You could mount it this way, or you can mount it this way. So you could basically mimic the what this looks like with the magnetic bar. And maybe have them something like this. Now, I mentioned it depends on what you're doing with your wrenches. Well, you're using them to fix stuff. But if you are using them in a way where you're taking them places, in a, maybe you're a mobile technician or you want a toolkit for the back of your car, you may store them in either a blow molded plastic case or a metal case like this. This one's cool because it has them all in order. It also is notched in the plastic of the metal case so that they pretty much go exactly where they came from. Now, as you can see, it may not fit perfectly. There's also no labels on them and you can't see what size you're grabbing. But because this is for mobile, this is compact. Everything fits in a small, small, small footprint that may not be the priority when you're organizing wrenches this way. There's also this mobile storage solution, which is how I brought these wrenches from work to my house. I wouldn't recommend this being your primary way to store your wrenches. And finally, there is the not organized pile of tools method. This may work for some people very well, but for me, I don't really care for it. I like to have my wrenches displayed where I can see the sizes quick at a glance. I can tell if one's missing quick at a glance and I don't have to do this in order to find the tools that I'm looking for. There are also a couple of other ways. There are hooks that you can hang them on. Most of that kind of stuff that I've seen, I don't really care for. It will hold tools, but if there's any kind of movement, they tend to fall off, so I don't love that method. So for me, the best method is to hang the wrenches in a way that they won't fall off, you know, whether it's a plastic one like this, which holds them really, really well, or a metal one like I use, and I use the metal one because I close the lid to my roll cart so that they stay on and I don't have to pick them up every morning when I come to work. All right, so question of the day is, of course, how do you store your wrenches? Post it and let us know. Also, if you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Hey, if you like this video, throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog over at HumbleMechanic.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course on Snapchat. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. When I held up that wrench at the beginning, I should have held it up like this as a shout out to my best buddy, Eric, the car guy.